welcome to this video guys welcome to teach right dot me okay today in this video I'll be discussing about the phylum protozoa okay so the phylum protozoa okay so the phylum protozoa so the protozoans are aquatic animals what is mean by aquatic so what is aquatic actually aquatic means aquatic means the animals or the organisms which live which prefer to live in the water and which cannot survive in the land those organisms are called aquatic animals and the animals which live in the land those animals are called as terrestrial t e r r e s t r i a l okay so those organisms which live in the water okay so those animals which live in the water are called as are called as aquatic aquatic okay and what's the difference between marine and fresh water so those animals which lives in the oceans what are oceans the oceans are the huge water bodies salty water bodies okay those organisms which prefer to live in the salt water or in the oceans water are called as marine animals and those lives in the fresh water that is sweet water sweet water means rivers okay the water present in the river and lakes is called as sweet water so those animals which which live in the oceans are called as marine animals and those which live in the fresh water are called as those lives in the rivers are called as fresh water animals okay let me raise this raise all mm. so the term protozoa was coined by golfers so the term protozoa was coined by the scientist Goldfuss. He is regarded for coining the term protozoa. This term was firstly discovered by the scientist Goldfuss. Protozoa in the Greek language means protozoa. This term in the Greek language means proto means if we split this word protozoan, protozoa. Okay, so if we split this word proto, proto means what is mean by proto? First, okay, first. These are the first. Zoa means animal, animal. A n i m a l. So these are the organisms which came into the land, which landed first in the land. Okay, which landed first in the land are called as protozoans okay these are called as protozoans so so the term protozoa is a greek term because it is derived from the greek language so of course it's a greek term and what's the cellularity 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 means whether they are unicellular or bicellular are they unicellular yes they are unicellular unicellular means the organisms which have only the single cell single cell so guys in our body in human body we have millions of cells millions millions billions of cells but the protozoans have only the single cell which performs all the life activities okay which perform all the life activities like metabolism which perform all metabolic activities it also performs locomotion respiration reproduction all the all the life activity is performed by a single cell only the single cell perform many life activities like locomotion respiration reproduction and digestion okay so excretion 
excretion so all these activities performed by only this single cell so in human body there are millions of cells millions of cells okay so in the human body there are millions of cells so let me tell you that they are microscopic organisms and we need we can't see with the naked eye we can't see them with the naked eyes okay we can't see them so we need a specific uh, microscope to see them or else we can't able to see with the naked eye okay so we need a microscope to see this protozoa okay let me erase this for you hmm, let's go to the next slide so in the protozoans all the as we discussed earlier in earlier in the earlier slide that all the life activities in the protozoans are carried by only a single cell that is all that is only a single cell you can see this dot you can see you can assume this dot as a cell so it it will carry the locomotion it will carry the respiration reproduction and excretion okay all the all these activities are carried to a single cell okay hmm. so when we talk about symmetry so guys what is symmetry actually what symmetry actually is so when we talk about symmetry that is it splits where a line that passes through the center axis of the body which splits the organism into two equal halves this is the first half and this is the second half this is called as symmetry if this happens then if the symmetry is possible then the organism are called symmetrical so the protozoans are symmetrical that means they can be divided into two equal halves okay two equal halves the first half and the second half okay so so they are the symmetry is radial that means if you cut from this axis you will get two equal halves if you cut from this axis you will get two equal halves if you cut from any axis it may be x y or y z or z x okay if you cut from the any axis you will be getting the all the equal halves okay so when it comes to bilateral it's only the one axis which gives the all which gives the two equal halves not all the axis okay so when it comes to asymmetry asymmetry means the organisms which does not have any symmetry no symmetry okay the organisms which does not have any symmetry are called as asymmetric animals example for asymmetric animal is amoeba let me show you the diagram of amoeba we all are well aware of amoeba that it is asymmetric animal and you can draw it any way because it does not have the symmetry it, see guys if you cut this from this plane you won't this this part will not overlap on this part is it not is these two parts same no so these two parts are different so it is called as asymmetry so amoeba is the best example for asymmetric animal okay what is locomotion what locomotion is locomotion means movement okay locomotion means movement or traveling or traveling so we don't use travel in biology so or zoology in this we use movement why actually organisms move why actually organisms move movement is done in search of food okay food shelter shelter and mate mate means partner why do they search mate for mating okay so the movement is mainly mating means reproduction okay so the movement is mainly done for the search of food they want if you want food you have to move anyway from your chair to your kitchen so it's not the kitchen here so it's the moving apparatus the they are uh, what what helps in movement actually pseudopodia cilia and some flagella which helps in the movement so movement is done for the search of food shelter and mates 
okay so what are the organs so what are the organs which helps in the movement that is there are three organs that is pseudoporia cilia and some flagella and some may also have flagella that is i'll show you in the next slide so what is pseudoporia pseudoporia is the false feet like in the amoeba we have pseudoporia these are the false extensions here you can see the big extensions the more extension favor on the left hand side so we have the organism in this direction so the organism if wants to move in the left hand side it will be having all these uh, extensions all these bigger extensions on the left hand side okay okay guys so let's talk about cilia when we talk about cilia cilia can be seen in uh, organisms like paramecium when we see a paramecium we call it as a slipper animalcule because it is slipper in shape and it will be more or less equally like this so it has paramecium it has see like this type of structure i'm indicating it this cilia by orange okay these these are the cilia so these are the cilia which helps in the movement when the when this cilia moves it creates a disturbance in the water see assume if this is a water when this moves when this moves this creates a disturbance in the water opposite side and this organisms will move in the forward side the disturbance of the cilia creates a vibration in the opposite side which helps the organism to move in the front side okay so let's talk about the flagella we all are aware of the term flagella flagella is seen in flagellates and what are flagellates the organisms which have flagella so the best example for the flagella are euglena okay euglena euglena is having flagella so let's draw the diagram for euglena we can see that you can see it on the screen euglena is somewhat like this euglena is having the flagella this is called as the flagella this is the flagella okay the flagella helps in the movement the to and fro the flagella will beat in this direction in this direction so this di these two directions are called as to and fro movement of the flagella in water in water creates a vibration which helps the organism to move forward okay when this flagella moves the organism will move in the forward direction so the best example for the flagellate is in the protozoan the best example for the flagellates are euglena euglena it is having the flagella okay so the nutrition in this type of animal is what about nutrition it is holozoic in protozoans okay so when it comes to respiration when it comes to respiration it is by the body surface that is by the skin no if we talk about frog it has the skin but here in the case of protozoans like amoeba do amoeba have a skin no it does not have a skin it only have cell wall okay so but in the animal cell wall will be lacking they might might, might be having the plasma membrane in the cell so in the amoeba we don't have skin so it has the body surface the surface of the body see let me draw amoeba so assume this is amoeba and this is the surface of the body okay this is its surface so the what what we say the the respiration is carried through this skin okay let us assume this yellow color as a skin so the respiration is carried through the skin through the body surface and uh, if i say that in in frog in case of frog in case of the frog the respiration is carried through skin in case of this frog the respiration is carried through the skin okay so the respiration is carried through the skin that is called as cutaneous respiration when the respiration is carried through the skin is called as cutaneous respiration but in the case of protozoans they don't have skin okay 
so their body surface the surface of the body carries the respiration okay yeah okay now let's talk about exc excretion excretion means removal of removal of waste substance waste substance from our body is called as excretion that is elimination of the waste substance whatever the waste substance is there we will eliminate it in the form of excreta excreta okay we also call the excreta as stool s t o o l the stool in which we sit okay we also call it as stool so this also is uh, from the body surface they also excrete from the body surface as they don't have well excretory system they don't have well excretory system like human beings so the excretion is also carried by the body surface okay okay guys so let me raise this and what about reproduction reproduction is by asexual method asexual method that is by binary fission or by budding okay so what is asexual method what is mean by sexual and asexual sexual and uh, asexual okay in the sexual two partners that is male and female are required but in the asexual method none of the partners that is only one partner either it may be a male or it may be a female that is in the asexual method these two are not differentiated male and female are not differentiated in the asexual way okay but in the asexual method male and female are differentiated so let's not go deep into this so what is asex uh, in the sexual like the egg and the sperm it forms the zygote but in this case in this case in the asexual method the, those eggs and sperms are not combining okay so the parent itself is sacrificing what the parent itself is sacrificing its body that is the parent divides itself in this method no no partners are involved only the parent divides in this method okay so just a minute just a minute yes okay so the reproduction is by the asexual method that is by binary fission and budding so what is binary fission guys what is binary fission what is bi what bi actually means bi means two fission means division okay fission means division so the division of the body into two equal halves what the division of the body into two equal halves is called as binary fission and what about budding budding means small buds like structure bud like structure arises from the body which when detaching detaching means which when detaching detaching means separation on separating it that bud will develop into a new organism new organism in the next slide we will discuss it so so let let us go into the next slide before that protozoans are immortal the best point regarding them is protozoans are immortal that is they will not die until they are subjected to extreme heat or light like human beings have a natural death we die near the age of uh, 60 to 100 but protozoan doesn't have this age limit okay they can survive uh, as a wish okay until and unless if you heat a protozoan if you subject it to heat like plus 100 degrees celsius or 140 60 de degrees celsius then of course we, uh, they will die okay human beings die in 60 degrees celsius only but these protozoans can survive more than that okay so when they are subjected to extreme heat only they will die until and unless the protozoans are immortals the best thing about the protozoans are immortals okay so let's go into the news next slide what, and uh, what is binary fission that is the reproduction in protozoan is by binary fission and budding binary fission means by means to fission means divi division okay binary by means 
two fission means division so that the division of a body into two equal halves so you write and you note down the definition division of body division of body into two equal two equal halves not unequal two equal halves is called as binary fission okay two equal halves is called as binary fission by means two fission means division okay so i explain you see the body the division of the body along the center axis see this or this is a single cell only one cell will divide from the center axis to give two new cells okay to give two new cells this is a parent cell and this is a parent cell and these two are the daughter cells d a u g s t e r daughter cells okay this is these two are the daughter cells and when it comes to budding small buds like structure guys small buds like structure arises from the parent body this is the parent body and you can see that small buds like structure buds b u d s buds bud like structure arises from the parent body to give a uh, when this separates when these buds separates it gives a same it resembles the parent resembles means it is a copy of the parent itself okay so in this parent is not sacrificing it sacrificing its small part okay so that is its bud so you can see here this is the parent and this is the daughter hydra so the budding is mainly carried in hydra okay so the budding is mainly carried in hydra and uh, when it comes to binary fission it is um, best seen in the binary fission is best seen in euglena euglena and also in paramecium we can see the binary fission so the example for binary fission is euglena and for budding is uh, you may note it as a hydra for now so you can note it as hydra okay guys so let's move to the other slide let's have a overview of budding and uh, binary fission in depth ego this is euglena okay this is euglena and if it divides into two equal this is parent this is parent euglena okay so this is parent euglena and these are doctor daughter euglena daughter euglena these are the daughter euglena why how this daughter euglena formed when this parent euglena cuts itself to the center axis when the center axis passes through the median of the parent then it divides it separates itself okay to form a two daughter cells these two daughter are called as two new euglena okay so this is all about the what what we say binary fission and when it comes to budding a small bud arises from the parent parent body and when it detaches it forms the same parent again okay it see it looks like the same parent best example is hydra okay in hydra we can see budding and uh, if we have a overlook of this complete protozoa we have a overlook let us have a overlook what we have read so what are protozoans they are unicellular they are unicellular organisms protozoans these were the first first ones okay these were the first one who landed on the earth okay these were the first ones who landed on the earth so these were the first ones they are unicellular they don't have the excretory system excretory system is lacking they lack the excretory system and respiration 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 is by is by body surface okay is by body surface not only respiration excretion is also by body surface respiration and excretion is by body surface and locomotion locomotion is by how is locomotion by 
the locomotion is by uh, flagella flagella in euglena and flagellates so cilia in ciliates ciliates is um, best example for ciliates is slipper animal that is uh, paramecium and uh, flagella ciliates and pseudopodia the best example for pseudopodia is uh, amoeba pseudopodia okay so locomotion respiration reproduction uh, let's go to reproduction reproduction is mainly by binary fission binary fission and by budding binary fission in the case of euglena and budding in the case of hydra okay so budding in the case of hydra hmm. locomotion respiration reproduction okay this is all about the phylum protozoa okay so let me give you some few examples of protozoa well euglena euglena amoeba a m o e b a amoeba and paramecium paramecium comes under protozoa and entamoeba histolytica entamoeba a m o e b a entamoeba cow chows this all comes under the the phylum protozoa okay so entamoeba histolytica we are well aware of entamoeba and we also know actinophrys actino actinophrys this also comes under protozoa so the best examples for protozoa are these 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the six examples which best suits the protozoans okay in the euglena we have seen euglena is famous by its uh, symmetry that is uh, it is uh, bilateral in symmetry and uh, it it is also famous by its uh, um, what do we say reproduction how it how reproduction is carried by in this binary fission in amoeba it is famous for its asymmetry paramecium for its symmetry that is binary fission uh, and uh, it is uh, also uh, bilateral in symmetrical okay entamoeba histolytica it causes entamoebiasis amoebiasis okay and actinophrys and chaos thank you for watching this video please share and subscribe for more support okay and let it reach the needy ones hope you like this video for more videos watch uh, subscribe this channel thank you thanks a lot